I had never heard of LETV until CES this year where the company was on headlines for having the world's first Snapdragon 820 in their upcoming flagship, the Lumax Pro. Since that isn't available to consumers as of yet, I decided to check out their current flagship, the Lumax, which they're launching here on the 20th, and here's what I found. First of all, this phone is big, with a 6.3 inch display and heavy with an all-metal body. Now that that's out of the way, here's the deal with this phone. It's your standard 2015 flagship and doesn't have much to make it feel unique aside from its gargantuan form factor. It has a Snapdragon 810 and 4GB of RAM, so in real life it's just as fast as any other 2015 flagship. It has a 21 megapixel camera with a Sony IMX230 sensor, and although I can't say for sure, in the limited time I've spent with it, it's pretty good, but far from the best out there. It has a fingerprint sensor and when it works, it works great and fast, just like any other phone. It charges via USB Type-C, so that's there, I guess. LETV has their own custom skin, as you'd expect. It seems nice enough, not gonna talk about it, but hey, it's Android Lollipop, and you can make it look however you want it to. Also, apparently, it hangs sometimes. The only thing that sets this phone apart, and the only thing that I really, really like about it, is the way that the front is designed. The sides have neglectable bezels, and that makes using the good-looking 2K panel very enjoyable. Also, this switch is pretty neat. I'm not going to be doing a full review of this phone because there's not much to talk about, but all in all, this is a good phone. It would have been an amazing phone if we got it a couple months ago like the Chinese, but we didn't. It's launching here on the 20th, and if it was priced well, I'd tell you to buy it. It's $600 on Upper Mart now, and for around that price, look elsewhere. Please like this video if you did, and don't forget to subscribe. This is Techricity, signing out.